We can do every project. <laughs> uh, it all depends on what they're asking for. Of course, some things are, you know, uh, a little more demanding uh, on on the people as much as on the equipment. But uh, we we adapt. You know, there there isn't much that we cannot do. Uh, we have so many people work with us that have been just about everywhere, and uh, they're just not afraid to tackle any challenge. Uh, uh, way back, we send uh, it's usually is the project manager that's uh, off duty at the time, if you wish, or a surveyor, and uh, they go meet with the client and uh, they, they take us to the field. And then we go step by step, they show us what they want, and we show them what we can and cannot do, and uh, then get back to the office. We make a little report, and the office puts all of our information in the package, and then they throw out a bid and we go from there. Oh, it just is a big, big part of the, the deal and it goes from the beginning. All the clients are looking for good HSE uh, plans and, and the background of the people and everything and uh, I take it very seriously and I ask all the guys to do so as well. Uh, these people in Africa, even, you know, we worked in Europe last year and they're just, just not used to it. It's not something that's hit them yet. Some people say it's a challenge. For, for me and the guys that work here, all our expats, they're all, they understand what these people do not have and we work with them. Uh, nobody gets fired for any, and I can't say wrongdoing, but when they do something that's not right, we take them aside and we say, look, this is what happened today because you didn't do this, this and that. How can we fix that? And all right, work safe and make sure you tell your friends to work safe too. All right, good job. the map the client says we want a line from A to B so we have to bring that map onto the land and make that that line where they want it so at first when we get the map uh, we help them revise if you wish and then when we get to the field the servers and, uh, and the front end man has a big a role in that because we're trying to keep the line number one where it's not going to impact the land the environment we, like, we want to do as low profile as we can and then we have to think of the equipment the people so the the servers are big hand in that uh, we have uh, three guys who are surveying on the field who are running the packs uh, they go to to really rough areas we use the boats uh, we use pontoons because uh, because it, it's quite tough here so we have before we go to and uh, survey um, a panga crew or um, line clearance is going is going in front of us. Just clear the line, and after that, uh, everybody can come after them. We load uh, their small GPSs with uh, with the lines, and after that, when they go on the field, they know exactly where they need to cut, 
uh, how wide we need uh, we need that path that path because we don't uh, need to cut so much for example we need to cut just a trail of uh, three four meters uh, to be uh, to be friendly with the env environment so we have uh, what we call the layout crew so their job is to lay out the cable and slash geophones and all them geophones are all tied in together with one cable, which is many, many wires inside. And these wires, or this cable, is plugged into the cable. And that cable runs the whole length of the line. And that cable is actually plugged into the recorder. Um, a lot of guys right now, we're hiking in equipment two or three kilometers by hand, um, and then planting it as we go. The shot is only good when everything, the whole system is hooked up. The dynamite can go off, and if it's not hooked up, then the shot's wasted. So we make sure we take every precaution uh, to hook it up right, uh, to have a, a green light on, on both sides, um, so we get the best quality data. Uh, drilling, we have some uh, what we call comm track. They're a little uh, low impact seismic on rubber tracks, so the damage to Mother Earth is next to nil. Their self-contained unit Part of the body has got the fuel tank and the water tank. It's a tiny little machine. It's only 1.85 meters wide or something like that. So they drill holes three inches, four inches around, and we put dynamite down in the hole, and the hole gets all buried. So after the drill moves away, you've got a little mound of dirt, well, mud actually at that time, but it'll dry up quick. And again, it's barely anything to notice the grass and everything will go through that in no time because we hardly touch the surface of the, of the ground to begin with. Uh, drilling crew wise, there's six crews here, 12 men per crew, so 72 drill personnel, 12 line security guards, six rangers, that one ranger per each crew for uh, wildlife protection, etc. So probably well over 100 people in this camp at the moment. Thumper. So yes, just uh, that kind of noise. And the only difference is that instead of hitting the ground with the plate, is we set this big plate, is, and it's a special aluminum alloy steel. Is something that uh, transfers the energy well to the ground. So the, the steel plate sits on the ground, and we put all the weight of the machine on that plate, enough to just barely lift the wheels off, and then. There's a, a hammer, is what we call it. It gets pressurized up, and then when they have the right pressure, and it's all you know linked to the recorder house, and when the pressure is at the right place, they hit the switch, and the hammer comes down on that steel plate. So there's no damage to the ground, and yes, it will leave a little imprint, uh, maybe like an eighth of an inch, but the, the impact is on the steel, so steel on steel, and it transfers the energy down into the ground and then it, is, it replaces the dynamite. And dynamite is a good energy, but this thumper is renewable. The dynamite, once it's gone, it's gone. We can't take the shot again. With the thumper, if something went wrong, somebody was driving on the line and there's other noise, then we say, oh, stop, let's take that shot again. And it's very quick. Every time the hammer hits the plate, it sends a vibration, and that's what they get in the recorder. They, it's all about time. How long it takes for the, the frequency to go down and it's obviously where the, the thumper is is the strongest energy and then you can see it go down the further it goes the energy is uh, and it's all in milliseconds. Location on the shot, the green flag. Firing the shot. It's the shot, the energy. Firing five seconds of data. That's all of this data taken together and stacked. Every shot stacked up on top of each other and he gets uh, a brute stack. We've seen some really good data quality, and some really interesting zones of interest for drilling. Clients are very pleased. Um, each energy gives different uh, results on the, on the screen or on the, on the data. And the Thumper, the Explorer 360, has a very defined, like the source it sends, it's just 
that much different from the dynamite and that much different from the vibrator. Uh, and the geophysicist, every time he finds a nice structure, a nice break in the line, he comes and is like, oh, look at this. Like, he gets excited because, you know, that's where his, his, all his studies pays off. Like, look, I see this and I see that, so. And we are looking mainly for this type, we name these structures, like this one, where is mainly we can have the, the traps for the, for the oil and gas. And well, we can see that we are getting very, very good, excellent data. Uh, as soon as we finish the line, we send that information via internet, FTP to the client, and they can, can decide where to put another line on surface in order to catch better all these structures. And see, we can see very nice geological features like folds, anticlinal, synclinal, etc. The pickup crew, well, uh, you know, self-explanatory, they pick up. Uh, but not only they pick up the gear and all the cables, they pick up everything that's left behind. There's the odd time where, you know, a bottle will fall out of a backpack and whatnot, so we pick up everything. Whatever alteration we made to Mother Nature, we try to put it back to the way we found it or better. Um, so they pick up the garbage, they pick up any details that we need to know uh, to make it good. And they, uh, again, we, we let them know that, you know, the more you tell us, the more we can fix it. And that's one thing that the local people, and when I say local, any country that we work in, they do get that because a lot of the people say, well, you're, you know, you're wrecking our forest or you're wrecking our, you know, our nature. So we tell them, if you tell us, we can fix it. But if we don't know there's something not right, we can't fix it. And they really do speak up at that time, like, oh, wow, you can make this better, or, you know, so it, it's good. The people that come and work with us, well, the people that come and work doing seismic is a special breed altogether, but we're, we're kind of a family. Polaris Explorer is, uh, you know, it's your Navy SEALs of seismic, and, you know, we're not afraid to, to take on huge challenges. It's not a job, it's an adventure. 